I just wanted to draw your attention to this recent study by a, a friend of mine, Nicholas Brown, at the University of Queensland, where they basically looked at prostate embolization as compared to the best standard of care medical therapy, which was a combination medical therapy. And uh, you know, traditionally we've offered prostate embolization or any minimally invasive treatment to patients who've not been able to tolerate or not responded to six months of drug um, treatment. But what he wanted to look at is what if we offered prostate embolization to these patients as an alternative to or before medical therapy, how would that go for them? As you can see here, they took 39 men and basically split them into two groups, some receiving prostate embolization and the others receiving the drug, and looked at how things were tracked in terms of their quality of life, their obstruction, the size of their gland. And what they found here was that prostate embolization patients had a greater reduction in size of their gland, an improvement in the way they emptied their bladder, in their prostate symptom score, which is the main thing people normally worry about, as well as quality of life, and also altered ejaculation, erectile dysfunction, and nausea, more common in the medication group. Now, of course, prostate embolization is a procedure. It has an expected recovery period, some pain, some stinging urination, and increase temporarily for about a week in urinary symptoms. But I think this is really interesting early evidence that for patients who could go either way or who are reluctant for, for medical therapy, then it's, they do as well, probably a lot better from having an early interventional approach. So this isn't the standard approach, but I think the question they're asking, is there a role to bring forward embolization for patients as an alternative to medical therapy? So I hope that's of interest to people. If you're interested, look up the study. Here it is, P-Easy Advance, and uh, have a read through it yourself.